I grew up on Pixar movies. Loved Toy Story, Monsters, Inc., and Wall-E. But A Bug's Life, I always thought, kind of went under the radar. I really liked this movie. I liked Flick, the main character. He was a really down-to-earth, reach-for-the-skies kind of guy. When all of the other ants gave up, Flick continued to believe that no matter what, they could defeat the grasshoppers. More people need to have this attitude in life. So because I liked the movie, that Christmas I asked for and got A Bug's Life for the PlayStation. I was stoked! It was one of the nicest things my stepdad, Cockface, or, oh, I'm sorry, I wouldn't want to offend anyone, Dean, ever did for me. Anyways, let's take a look at the game. I think when it comes to movie-based video games, we all sort of kind of think, well, in theory, it's just, you know, automatically going to be shit. And to a certain extent, this game is... But, you know, comparing it to other movie-based games, it's not that bad. I mean, the controls are, are, are fairly responsive. The graphics are respectable. The voice acting is, you know, it's comedic. It's not meant to be taken too seriously. Um, you know, are the camera angles bad? Well, yeah, sorta. But, you know, the point is, comparing it to other movie-based games, this game is decent. I mean, it's average. It's nothing amazing, but it isn't bad either. Now, here's the first level of the game, and the controls are pretty basic. You know, L1 is uh, turns you from behind yeah. in the direction that you're headed. Uh, you hit X once to jump, and then you hit it again to do this cool butt slide type thing. Uh, square throws your berries, which is what you use in this game uh, for weapons to kill off the other uh, insects, if you will. And also, Square picks up these seeds, um, which is a, it's an important part of this game. It's one of the most important parts of this game, is picking up these seeds, throwing them on insects, jumping on them to create different ways to uh, basically get higher, to, to higher plateaus. Uh, and cliffs in the game. Uh, triangle changes seed colors. Circle doesn't do anything that I'm aware of. Start is pause as typical. You know, I, I got to thinking about it. This is like one of the very few games where you get to play as a bug. I mean, I'm surprised with all these different types of games that are coming out now that they haven't thought of making a game where you play as a bug. I mean, I, for, correct me if I'm wrong, but is this not the first game where you get to play as an ant? Can anyone out there name one other game where you get to play as an ant? Because I can't think of one. I just, I, I, I seriously can't. I cannot think of another game where you get to play as an ant. I just, you know, to me it's cool. I think it's cool, you know. But, but can anyone think of one? I can't. I sure as hell can't. Can't do it. Can't do it. But anyways, enough of that. As you can see, you know, you throw seeds on the ground, you jump on them, they turn into these mushrooms, they turn into these, these, uh, I don't know what it is, it's a leaf that comes out of the ground that you jump onto, you use these as platforms to get onto higher platforms. It's pretty obvious what you do. These tokens, the token that I just picked up, um, they change the color and abilities of these seeds. So, as you can see down there at the bottom left, um, the red cross there, that is health. It, it, it creates a plant that spits out health for you, which is pretty cool. And these little pieces of grain that you've seen me pick up throughout this level are, you know, just ways to get 100% at the end of the level. And, uh, yeah, it's just an added bonus. You know, all these platforming games have these and this is the end of the level oh, yeah. shows you how close you came to getting a hundred percent which uh, obviously I'm not aiming for that right now so let's uh, show you a boss fight there's about four or five different boss fights in this game here's the first one it's against Thumper the crazy the crazy motherfucker of the movie 
the Charles Manson, if you will. Looks like a looks like one of my high school cooks. Yeah, Thumper's crazy. He's like a he's like a woman that's on her menstruation yeah! period 24/7. Fucker's crazy. Okay, and this boss fight's obviously it's the first boss fight, so it's pretty easy. But it, it's not bad. I mean, again, this is a movie-based game, so you can't expect it to be some, you know, great, amazing, state-of-the-art, um, you know, video game world-changing game. It's, it's just good, which is, is good enough when it's a movie game. Okay, and and basically all you got to do here is you upgrade your berries to the point where you can actually hurt Thumper. And, uh, dodge all these other mosquitoes. Okay. I got the hang of this. Take these extra powered up blueberries. Toss them at Hopper. Just spam that attack button and down the son of a bitch goes. There you go. He's done. What the fuck? Spontaneous combustion. It really does exist. Alright, let's move on. And here's a pretty cool level. It's a short level. It's called Cliffside. Rain, rain, rain. And uh, like I said before, yeah, the game's controls are aren't necessarily bad. It's more the camera. The camera yes, just doesn't do. seem to want to follow your character. You have to push L1 to make the camera move. You are basically the camera in this game. But again, the, the controls are as smooth as a baby's ass. And... Uh, See here, I'm changing the color of the seed by pushing square. And I will take this this uh, dandelion thing here and use it to propel myself up and across the cliff side here. And you can't fall in any of these crevices or orifices or else you will die. Wow, crevices and orifices. I've seen a lot of those in my day. I've been inside of a lot of crevices and orifices. And, uh, you know, falling into one of these would be no different here. Okay, get through the thorns and we just barely got by the thorns. Alright, we're basically at the end, so let's speed this puppy up. Alright, let's jump down this cliff here. And we just got the golden berries. The gold berries are the best weapon in the game. They will basically kill every enemy in this game. And that is the end of the level. All right, let's move on. What it all boils down to is this. This game is not astonishing, astounding, or breathtaking in any way, shape, or form. This game can basically be summarized in one word, average. This game is very average. It is a time killer. If you need to consume time, this game is, is good enough for that. It's not something you could really play for more than a week. I mean, you probably beat it within a day or two, you know, if you're starting it and to finish. You know, it's it's just it just kills a little time. It's something to do. But you know, by no means is this a bad game. I mean, it's just there. It just exists. You know, it, it it's just <laughs> The only reason it's not really bad is because it's it is based off of a movie. And like I said, we have come to expect movie games to be bad. But other than that, you know, the controls are good. The boss fights are fun. The levels are not too hard. They're probably not even too easy. You know, it's a, it's a it's a fairly challenging game at times and you know, by golly, damn it, it's worth playing. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and goodbye, my friends. Yeah!
I could use your help. Here we go! Dim give Ant a lift. <laughs> 